Ah, the Forge Lands. The many workshops. The soaring peaks. Are we on a guided tour here or something? The ancient creations, wasted by Typhon's endless appetite for destruction. Someone down there was alive, working, and seemingly happy. Definitely not Hephaestus, then. That whining, sniveling coward never smiled a day in his life. Have you? Have you listened to a word of this story? Things have changed. Okay, maybe I put just a happy little smile there. Good. Uh... What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Well, something. One thing. I'm Phoenix. Who... What are you? Dialogue. With me. Okay. We plan for this, don't we? Who or what are any of us? We are what we do. I am art, so I'm some kind of artist. Clearly, you are appreciating that art, so are an appreciator. I'm a warrior. Or the sibling of a warrior. I'm warrior adjacent. Anyway, I'm here to stop Typhon. Hmm. That checks out. You didn't look like much of an appreciator, no offense. But maybe this will change your mind. A little box? What? No, that is so my last phase. I signed it, though. You can keep it. No need to thank me. I can't read this. You're a sculptor. I scaled your statue. You're Hephaestus, right? I'm so excited to meet you in person. So, not that one. Fine. That's fine. Totally fine. But I have others. your essence so we can defeat Typhon. Do you know where it is? No? Confusion or rapture? Are you wrapped? This is just my face. How can you art at a time like this? Don't you know what's happening? I think it's safe to say I do not. Typhon? Everyone turned to stone? Gods all lost their essences? Evil monsters everywhere! End of the world! You really have no memory whatsoever? Who needs the past when you can shape the future? It'd be easier to shape the future with hands. Typhon stole them, I assume. Ripped them from your limbs? tortured you endlessly. Something? You really need to sit down with this Typhon guy. Talk it out. And no, my hands had enough of making art and scurried off together. They can't have gone far. And who knows? Maybe if I get them back, they'll jog your memory. Save the applause for when I come back. Forgetful automaton thing! Artist words? That's what I said. Look, I found your hands! Industrious, Typhon-obsessed appreciator. You are full of surprises. Hold still while I just... Still no memory, huh? No. Well, maybe one. 
I work there. A pearl in rough seats. Forge fires lit. A wise child convinced. A feather's weight of wit. Forge fires lit. Forge fires lit! Your forge is part of the prophecy! It must be the answer! You have to remember! The forge! The glowy blessing thingy that just came out of your hands! You are a god! Flatter me! I think you're great too. No, an actual god! Back home, I told dozens of different stories about you. Myths, legends, gods, monsters, all of it. You're Hephaestus, the god of the forge. Remember? I always thought I was a cherry. Oh, maybe. This isn't working. We have to jog your memory to find your essence. I need you to think. How do we start the forge? Ventilation shafts channel air to four coal-burning furnaces. A network of canals must feed frigid waters through water wheels to the summit. Central combustion is controlled through two mechanisms in the forge core. How do you know that? Know what? Forget it. Unblock vents, start fires, spin water wheels, then something about mechanisms. Stay here and make sure those hands don't go anywhere. That glyph. I think it represents this forge. And that one matches the statue outside. These are some kind of clue. Ha! Only next case, I'm seeing... Hephaestus, you're here! It's like the forge was calling me. I couldn't ignore it. About that. I cleared the vents, started the fires, and got the water wheels moving. Even unlocked some strange glyphs inside, but nothing happened. Well, I was talking to my hands as well as, and they said they're the key to restarting it. They have to touch things. Now we're talking, Zeus. This place is ancient. They say you built this entire fort yourself. Me? But it's so grim. So dirty, and that lighting. to leave us a message. Me? How mixed media? I think past you left a clue to recover your memory. Something Typhon couldn't decipher. Can you read any of it? 
It's incomplete. Hephaestus, you genius! It is missing a piece. Now, where did I put it? This isn't your signature, Hephaestus. It's the rest of the puzzle. Hammer, a forge's fire, the statue, and this box. Do you know what this is? Of course, he did not know what it was, but in their possession was Pandora's box. You dare to open this again? Chaining you to this rock was your justice for giving fire to mortals. Pandora's box was the mortals' justice. So you forced your son Hephaestus to forge a box capable of unleashing every conceivable evil upon them? That's justice? Hephaestus was happy to oblige. He knew what he was doing. He did what he was ordered to do after you tortured him for his entire existence. Don't you talk about my son! Pandora acted with innocent curiosity by opening that box. You acted with vile contempt! I gave them a warning and look what happened! Mortals ravaged and defiled their world and each other. Clearly, the warning was not enough. It's finished now. They are stone, and Pandora's box was the beginning of the end. So, first, we need a hammer. Where did you... Never mind. I think past you is telling us we need to imbue that hammer with the power of the forge's fire. Then break through here. That is so me. If I'm reading this right, your essence is underneath. But that's not all. I told you what this is. That would be a box. No. Well, yes. But also, it used to contain every kind of suffering. Enough suffering to fill the world. And you suffered, Hephaestus. A lot. Cast from Mount Olympus, rejected, alone. No matter how generous you were, no matter how hard-working, every god rejected you just because you were different. This box is the final clue. I think Typhon stole your suffering, and that's why you lost your memories. So, to get my memories, to get my talent back... You mean feeling the pain that's been locked away. Go. Despite the extreme heat, Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. Prometheus, this is pushing it. No human could dream of holding that hammer. Or holding your lightning. And yet, absorbing the power of the flames, the hammer came alive. And with it, Phoenix released the second of Hephaestus' blessings. With the hammer revived and Hephaestus' suffering trapped below, all Phoenix had to do now was jump. Just as you had packaged the torments of the world to so kindly give to humanity, Phoenix would trap Hephaestus' torments inside Pandora's box. His suffering, his tortured inspirations. My kid's an artist! What can I say? From that flame, the malice inflicted upon Hephaestus emerged.
as did the rage that comes with it. You see, for every misdeed you put upon him, Hephaestus let his rage burn, channeling it into a force for good, his many creations. Life was never going to be easy for the boy. I was trying to make him strong. I didn't realize how much I hurt him. Malice, strife, despair, and vengeance merged, and together became Hephaestus' locked-away essence made whole. Hephaestus! I'm back! And I have your essence! Hephaestus? Phoenix hoped Hephaestus was at the Hall of the Gods. You're here! When I came out of the vault, I thought something happened. Something's always happening. Something bad. How did you get here? I might have helped. You made my winged helmet and sandals? I saved you and brought you here. So, you know, we're even. He thinks we met before. Shh, shh, shh. Let's play along. Yes! Your sandals! I'm glad you like your sandals. Oh, I tried. Did you find his essence? You sure you're ready for this? Nothing bad has ever happened ever. Why would it start now? Father of invention, lend me your sword, your spear, your arrow. Transform the darkness to light our way. Welcome back, old friend. You okay, big guy? I remember. Everything. Give it time. There's one thing I still don't understand. With no memory, how did you leave clues leading to Typhon's vault? Not Typhon's. Mine. I suffered so long, I was so tired. Before Typhon came, I used Pandora's box many times to trap my inner torments in that vault. I had a system. I created the clues so I could find my way back. Typhon found me defenseless. I let that monster turn me into one of my automatons. I even enjoyed it. Because automatons feel nothing at all. But your clues, you should have been able to retrieve your own essence. Sterapis and Brontis, my assistants, double-crossed me. They took the first clue. The one directing me to light the forge fires and burn it. No, there's nothing more evil than irony. In doing so, they made sure my prison was permanent. I know those names. Each is a legendary Cyclops. If I find them, I will make sure they pay for what they did. Good. They stole armor I'd been forging. Consider it yours. And... Speaking of payment, I at least owe you. You're going to need it for what we must do next. We're going to steal something. Oh, yes! To protect hope from the clumsiness and sorrow of mortals, Zeus hid its fragile form somewhere near my forge. There, behind the locked door, hope. Waits. We must release it. If we're talking heist, I'm interested. I hid the key in the northeast of the Forgeland. In a shrine. 
Let me guess. Under the mat? The best place to hide something. But even if I can steal the key and find the hidden chamber near the forge, how do we release hope? Together. That box is now ready for its task. May the light of a thousand forges guide your way. We should make a plan to 